Hi everyone, this is Tina with Overall Adventures. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to show you basically how I transition from my old bullet journal into my new bullet journal. I have been bullet journaling actually for three years now. Somehow I kind of jumped on the writer Carol and the bullet journal train really early. This is my old one. This took me actually about like a year, um, year and a half to fill it up. So I had to like end up making a new, as you can see like right in the middle here, I made a new um, future log and stuff like that um, just to kind of keep up. So I finished, I basically just got to the last page in my bullet journal, did a pen test. <laughs> um, I really enjoyed this. There's a couple things though that I learned along the way. And so to transition, basically the first thing I did is just bookmark some of my favorite collection, YouTube ideas, wish lists my grad school information, and the future log. I really didn't have too many things. Like I, I'm not a big collection person as you'll see. Basically just jump right into my new bullet journal for you guys. So for this bullet journal, I mainly just used this Tombow brush, dual brush pen. And it's this beautiful like vibrant yellow. I'll just go through it. So I have my name and I'm kind of into in this bullet journal you'll see is this kind of craft paper look. Um, this is actually an old lunch bag with this graph paper and then these really cool vintage stickers that I actually got like at this thrift store. So I don't even have any more of the stickers, which kind of sucks. Like, I don't know where I'm going to find them. I haven't filled out the index yet. Honestly, I never go back and look at the index. I always just like post, put post-its on the pages that I end up going back to. Um, be a seeker of everyday magic. So magic is like my word of the air, but I kind of like this kind of grounding quote at the beginning. Magic can seem so over the top and like special, but I guess I'm looking for magic in the everyday and you'll see that with a couple new spreads here. So since I am slow at bullet journaling, I'm, I'm not sure how long this is going to take me. So I... I did do two years just in case, especially since I'm starting at a weird time, you know, I'm starting in May. I don't really know where this bullet journal is going to take me, so I kind of just played around. So this is my future log. I'm starting in September, so yes, even though I do have this summer, I'll kind of probably end up putting a post-it here, and most of my summer is already figured out. I'm also like in school, so I feel like life begins when you're in school in September, not really in the middle of the of the year, like January. So yeah, I really like this minimalist feel. I kind of just go down here and I'll put the numbers of the month. And as you can see, nice hot mistake here. Um, I'll fix that at some point, but I think it's kind of charming. I, I really do enjoy making mistakes in my bullet journal and I, I try to make a mistake right away. This one I did not try, it, but I had a lot of fun with it. I don't know, I just, I got really into it. So this is just a general kind of messy YouTube spread. Um, where I'll just kind of brain dump ideas or things that I get from you guys and kind of just throw them in here. Again, I just love these little stickers with this little lunch box with lunch bag paper. It's just so much fun. I had a, had a lot of fun making this, setting this up. Books, books that I want to read. Again, I'm in school, so my life in terms of books is is very structured. So I, I didn't really structure this page in terms of like suggested reads. Like people have really in-depth book spreads and that's awesome. I'm just not... I am not in a place right now to be able to do that, so I don't want to put too much pressure on myself. So I like it, just a clean open page, general wish, wish list, which is fun. And then this is kind of my grad school at a glance. This will be probably on one side of the page, just like my passwords and kind of my student information. And then this will be more of my financial aid um, and finances side of things. But I didn't want to put it in because I'm showing it to you guys, so, you know. And then here is my calendar. Basically, I like to I like to have a visual calendar. That's just how I work. Uh, usually, I'll put it just in pencil. You can't really see these fine lines, um, but I usually will just put it in pencil to start, just because things are always changing. So I don't like to mark it in pen and then see the X's. But and then this will be this is my typical YouTube spread. I usually do two months where I'll work ahead, and I. I didn't want to do these lines, but again, embracing mistakes. So basically on the right side here, I'll do general ideas that I get from you guys or things that comments that you guys suggest um, from that from that video or different ideas. And then on this side is what I actually end up posting, but I'm really happy with this and I'm, I'm practicing my script. So it's, it's getting there. It's, it's been really fun uh, kind of hobby to, to work on. 
And then this is basically how I do my finance, my finances. So again, two months together and I track how much money I spent on food, gas, miscellaneous, and then how much I've earned things that I can write off for school. So that's like supplies, um, textbooks, things like that. And then kind of taking the total. So what did I earn versus what did I spend and how much did I end up saving? So I really, this is really working out for me. I've done this now for probably a year, uh, track my money this way. And I basically have a money meeting with myself every Friday and kind of just, um, address my fina my finances and kind of see where I'm at for the month, which I really like. This is new for me. I'm doing little mood mandala tracker thing and it's just this little flower. Uh, my May moods, and I kind of did it in this light gray so that the colors will pop, but basically it's it's the days in May and then I have each of these Tombow brush prints representing a different color. So, oh, happy day, meh, a little blue and sad, anxious or grr, like angry. So <laughs> it's kind of fun. And then this is my, I'm calling this my happy habits. So, I don't know, I have like a mixed relationship with the habit tracker. Sometimes I love it, sometimes I feel like way too structured by this. So I'm trying to reframe how I think about habits and in more of a positive light. So that is my happy habits. This is my new and favorite spread. <laughs> I'm calling it Sparkly Moments. I saw it from someone, some bullet journal person, I can't remember who, but basically it's like a version of the gratitude log, but essentially I'm tracking, and I haven't done the first two days yet, but I'm tracking like, just what's one sparkly or everyday magical moment for the month. And uh, it could be something really simple. Like one of mine last month, I'll never forget, it was like this bird flew by like really close to my face and I almost like felt her, her wings or like the wind, the wind pushing off of her wings. And it was, it was such a wonderful little tiny moment that I would have missed. So I try to just write something really small that felt like, ooh, like a little moment of sunshine, a little moment of uh, surprise and joy in that month. And I, I just really enjoy it. I really enjoy going back to this spread. So I did this in April. And then this is for me what a typical week's weekly spread looks like. Um, I have my week here. I'll start on Monday and then this is the weekend. And then, yeah, you just, you know, have the date and then these little flags of the day of the week. And then I usually do my class or my work stuff in pretty big so I can see it. And then I have my kind of brain dump section down here that I break into these chunks to help me like organize my brain dump. <laughs> so I have homework to general to do's work, home stuff, and then YouTube. So that's kind of a, a general week for me uh, that I just wanted to share with you guys. And usually I do mostly just weekly spreads and keep a pretty uh, minimal in my bullet journal. I don't like too much stuff to keep track of. I find it to be um, pretty tiring and overwhelming. So I really just focus on filling in this sparkly moments and then the habits and then the mood. So it's really, it's really been fun. That is my newest bullet journal. I hope you guys enjoy. I don't know. I have mixed feelings about bullet journaling because sometimes I feel like it is definitely like a sense of control. Like I think some people and I myself can get way, way, way into it. And then I'm like, wow, I'm not really living. I'm just like, organizing everything all the time so you know I think there is a fine balance between like making your life pretty and like you know obviously keeping things together and organized but just you know keep that in mind I just I find that like bullet journaling it's just a little tricky you know you don't want to it's a balance it's a balance so so yeah thank you so much for joining me I hope that was an interest to you please like comment and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.